Smart 155 is a sensor-fused munition developed by Ramintol and Deal BGT Defense in the late 1980s. It's a 155mm howitzer round which contains a pair of Fire and Forget top attack submunitions. <laughs> The submunitions use a balut and parachute to slow their descent and allow the submunitions onboard infrared sensor and millimeter wave radar to locate its target and fire the explosively formed penetrator. In a previous video we looked at the 155 bonus round which also carries two submunitions which are arrested by a set of winglets which arrest the submunitions flight to enable their built-in sensors to detect the targets within their search footprint before striking down on the target with an explosively formed penetrator. The Smart 155 round is manufactured by GIWS, a joint venture between Deal Defense and Rheumatol, and entered service in the late 1990s. It's capable of being launched by any NATO standard 155mm howitzers, but in Ukraine it primarily appears to be used in conjunction with PZH-2000s. The round is also in British service, as the ballistic sensor-fused munition fired from AS-90s. The UK has recently provided Ukraine with a number of AS-90s, but it's unclear if they'll deploy Smart 155 rounds. The manufacturer describes the Smart 155 projectile as consisting of a thin-walled shell body, a base plate, an ejection unit, time fuse, and two functionally identical submunitions. The Smart 155 round allows a 155mm projectile to deliver two submunitions capable of penetrating any tank's top armour with considerable accuracy. Smart 155 has a listed maximum range of 22km, about 13.5 miles, when fired from a 155-39 calibre system, and 27.5km when fired from a 155mm 52 calibre system like the PZH-2000. Adding a base bleed unit would also extend the round's range further. The submunitions carry a shape charge of 9.7 pounds or 4.2 kilograms of high explosive, which creates explosively formed penetrators. The manufacturer states that extensive German army trials found that the round has a very low failure rate. Once the round is fired, an onboard time fuse set before firing ignites an ejection charge in the shell's nose which pulls the submunitions out of the shell body. Once clear, the submunitions balut and then parachute deploy, and the submunition begins to spiral down over the target area using their onboard sensors to detect the target vehicle before detonating their payload. The summer of 2022 saw a flurry of drone videos which showed strikes on Russian vehicles and equipment, many of which were attributed to either Bonus or Smart 155. But with most of the videos, it's difficult to definitively identify which munition is in use. A positive ID is normally constrained by either the framing of the shot, the resolution of the video itself, and the distance at which the video is filmed. On the 2nd of July, the first video believed to be a smart in action was shared online. In it, the munition can be seen descending before detonating above. The framing and resolution of the video is too low to confirm if it's a parachute arrested submunition. In early August, Russian telegram channels shared a photograph of a balut and parachute said to have been found near Karovsky in Donetsk. On the 13th of September, another fairly low resolution video showed a top attack munition detonating above a Russian armoured vehicle. On the 4th of March, photos of a balut and parachute from a Smart 155 were again shared and said to have been found near Krimina. Around the same time, another video showing a potential Smart 155 strike was shared. With the first EFP detonation visible here, and potentially a second visible here. Again, it's difficult to make out the submunitions, let alone if they have parachutes. On the 17th of April, the 26th Artillery Brigade shared a video that's claimed to feature a smart munition striking two Russian vehicles. A week later, on the 23rd of April, Ukrainian military journalist Andrei Sapilenko shared a video from inside a PZH-2000, 
showing some German DM702 smart shells. The DM702 shells were again briefly seen in a video posted by the 43rd Separate Artillery Brigade on the 16th of May. While it might be frustrating not to easily verify the videos as smart or bonus, it's impressive that we have any footage of these top attack munitions in use at all. Production of the Smart 155 paused in the late 2000s, but even before the war in Ukraine began, there had been plans to revive production. The war, however, has provided an impetus for renewed production, and in late 2022, the German government agreed to spend 97.4 million euros to restart production of the complex electronic components needed to manufacture Smart. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to check out some of my earlier videos on the weaponry being used in the war in Ukraine. You can find that playlist linked at the end of this video. Head over to the armorersbench.com and you'll find accompanying articles for all of our videos, showing our sources and updated information. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider supporting us via Patreon. We have a range of perks to say thank you for your support, including early access to all of our videos. Please do share the videos with friends and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.